we're going to stay in close touch as we've discussed mm -hmm. and you're going to check in regularly with the pediatrician and we'll be getting regular head ultrasounds I was one of those kids who grew up wanting to be a doctor from a very young age because I remember having a great relationship with my own pediatrician. So I read books as a kid about doctors and medicine and I did little operations on fruit and stuff like that. I also have a deep interest in brain function and how that works, how translating electrical signals in the brain become things like thoughts and emotions. So I ended up doing the MD-PhD and have been able to combine both medicine and science, interest in brain and clinical practice. I'm Darren Orbach. I'm a neurointerventional radiologist here at Boston Children's Hospital. Oh, I got to do this. Like... I know. <laughs> it's like I recognize this voice. The field that I'm in, neurointerventional radiology, is a subspecialty of neuroradiology and neurosurgery, and it focuses on vascular problems in the brain. So the pediatric cases were always viewed in the field as a little bit exotic, very rare, very interesting. Each one sort of needed to be analyzed on its own merits. I think that having trust and open communication is absolutely critical. I'm very open with families about what we know and what we don't know on a firm scientific basis. The one thing I say is as long as the brain looks good and has not suffered major injury already, that child has the potential to develop in a fantastic way. And so I will be very aggressive in trying to fight for that patient doing well. No matter how many procedures it takes or how long it takes their being around in the hospital, I will push for that. The neurointerventions in general are very young, and that means that it's a very active field in terms of the engineering side of it. And a big part of my practice and anyone else who treats children is in trying to creatively borrow the adult tools for use in children, especially in infants where it can be very challenging. Just the ability to touch a life of the child and really the family for the better. Sometimes facing a crisis at the moment of birth that, that really can be life and death, but then following that child as they grow through the different stages, it, it's really a very powerful thing and it's hard to imagine another career or another path I could have taken that would give me that kind of amazing feedback. All right. <laughs> Thank you.